cluster computing is a framework by which computation occurs no longer on a single machine, but on a bunch of similar machines that are all set up to do similar types of processing and, and execution. It involves many computers that are roughly configured about the same, all tied together and working together to solve a problem that no single one is tackling alone. Now, this type of framework allows for a significant increase in the speed of the computation being performed because you're effectively slicing up the big problem into little chunks and assigning each little piece, each little piece in the cluster that ta smaller task to perform and they're all doing that roughly at the same time which means that the total amount of time spent that you experience as the user right, as the as the as the as the compute director um, you see it happening you see your, your operation happening a lot faster because it's being sent it processed by multiple computers all at the same time as opposed to just one at a time when you're doing something manually in python or ipython for example so this is the fundamental way in which in which supercomputing platforms, high performance computing clusters basically uh, spread out the work across the thousands potentially or tens of thousands of CPUs or nodes that they may have available at their disposal. Now when you get to systems of this scale, it's no longer feasible to independently, individually manage every computer. It's far too large of a problem. So the task falls to the question of something like a job scheduler. Now, a job scheduler is a piece of software that runs on the cluster and manages access to the compute resources. It's, it's a, a piece of software that basically has this framework for requesting resources, for all getting and allocated resources, sending and scheduling those to appear on a job queue, and then allocating them off when the cluster has the appropriate spare open resources available to perform the very the jobs being requested. And so it really is a well, I you know you have to specify what you want to do, how much how big of a job it is and you submit that to the job scheduler and the job scheduler will look at the job being submitted it'll look at the active utility of the of the cluster at that moment and ask is there room to run this job if there's not then it has to wait for other current jobs to finish before it can submit that job to the computers and in the meantime other jobs might be coming in from other users and it has to decide you know, well, if this is a smaller job, do I let that one run or do I do I wait and hold off until more resources are available so this bigger job can run? And there's policies about queuing and and job priorities that come into play as to how this all gets scheduled. And so that's what the, the purpose of the job scheduler is. It's a it can be a pretty complicated piece of software to run, but in general, as someone who's trying to perform operations on a cluster, you don't need to know the back end of how any of this is implemented. You just need to know that there is a job scheduler and you need to know how to use it.